Name. David Dunn. Club and role. Houghton Cricket Club. I'm the chairman. How many years have you been with the club? I've been at the club now 42 years. Whoa, it's a long time. Long time. <laughs> and I've been Who was your favourite club? 42 years. Oh, wow. Who was your favourite club member and why? Uh, very simple. Uh, he's got friends in South Surrey, he's got friends in North Surrey, and it's Jody Lawrence. Jody Lawrence is the a so popular lad in the first team, second team with the ladies. He helps with the kids. All the other clubs like him as well. He turns up. He's just a really pleasant fellow to have in the club. So jealous, yes. Good lad. If you could say thank you to just one member, who would it be? Uh, the late uh, Jeff Chapman, who, with, um, who I needed his support and help to we um, raise money and built the pavilion. Uh, he came as, a, as the new president and said, what do you want, David? I said, I want a new pavilion. So for the next 10 years, I and him spent many a week, month, hours and hours and weeks and weeks fundraising and building the pavilion, which is now there now. So, yeah, without Jeff, we wouldn't have had a new pavilion. So it's very, very big. Fantastic. What is your favourite away ground? Well, that's a tricky one. Uh, one of my favourite grounds is Court and Staunton. Um, reasons we've had some very close games with them. Uh, literally like 230 plays, 231 sort of games, which is brilliant. Uh, it's a good batting track, takes a bit of spin, and it does a little bit of seam. So it's one of the few wickets everybody is in the game, which I like in, in a game of cricket. So, yeah, I would say course and Staunton. Who are your biggest rivals? Well, any team which is within five or ten um, Miles of Poulton is deemed to be a rival. Um, I don't think it's as intense as it used to be. When I was in my prime, it was dial or else. You know, you had to win. It was massive pride. Uh, because we play in the county league, we don't play as many games against our local rivals as much now, unless they're in your league. So mm -hmm. we don't have that intensity as we used to. But uh, yeah, it's still a bit of banter still. Best away tea. Well, technically, there's two. When we used to go on tour in Devon, there was a place called Buckland Brewer, and we would literally spend an hour devouring cream teas uh, in between giving them a damn good fraction. They weren't our level. We realised that after about five, ten minutes, but we just devoured the teas and still bowled them out for 30 after tea, so that was pretty cool. But locally, I have to say AIW, because uh, it's just a little bit different, and the food is fantastic. They always make us very welcome, and we have some... So good times down there too. Excellent. Best away shower? Well, basically any club which has got the thing switched on and it works because that isn't always the case. You turn up some games, you play, you're hot, sweaty or cold, depending on what happens. You go have a shower and sometimes you have that little surprise when it's ice cold. And that <laughs> does, um, does take the shine off the, uh, the afternoon sometimes. So anything which works, quite happy. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about being chairman? I think after 22 years, it's seriously get to know everybody in your club, from the under nines, the under sevens, parents, right through to your 70, 80 year olds who were playing before I was playing. And it's just knowing as many people who are attached to our club. It's a very important role as chairman to get to know everybody, not just the first team or the few players. It's everybody. I think that's a... That's a nice thing to do because as chairman, you do just go around and talk to everybody and uh, sure. hope they feel welcome, you know? Yeah. What is your least favourite thing about being chairman? Simply, uh, every year I have to do the dinner and dance hosting. <laughs> After 22 years, it gets a bit tedious. They've heard all my jokes and all my one-liners. Uh, <laughs> but uh, one year, I'm looking forward to just sitting there and having a bottle of wine and, and barracking from the sides like they do to me. So... <laughs> Lastly, what is your favourite ever cricket moment? I, there's lots of good cricket moments on the field, but I, I have to say the last year's World Cup final, when uh, the ECB gave us the ground for the projector and the screen, and we had 50-plus people in our club uh, eating, drinking. Uh, there was kids from nine-year-olds to people in their 60s and 70s. We had a great cross-section. Obviously, the game of our lives to watch, to watch that live in your own cricket club with your own cricket friends, it's a very special day for the club. I, I loved it, absolutely loved it, yeah.
good moment. And thank God, and thank, thanks to Ben Stokes. We had a great outcome, didn't we? David Dunn, Paul Wilson, great club. Thank you very much. A pleasure.